All right, everybody, just want to give a quick update where I am on the MCD RR5 Wifey build. I've been starting to tear the truck down and um, decided that um, we're going to do a, a few upgrades. So just going to go over those with you real quick. Um, got some carbon fiber from Bonehead RC. Shock tower. This would be the rear shock tower. We've got the front shock tower we're going to swap out. Stuff from Bonehead RC is just uh, beautiful. Not cheap, though. We got the carbon fiber Ackerman arm and steering. And I decided to do the brake assembly uh, mount, which has an extra stiffener piece which hooks from the brake assembly, which is right here. This goes over this area right here, and then we'll connect right up here to the top and add some extra support for this area. So decided to go with that. As you can see, i am got everything tore out, gas tanks out, uh, battery and servo tray is out. So yeah, pretty much got it stripped down, ready to uh, install these upgrades. Uh, a couple of things, a couple of things I don't like. Uh, this being my first MCD, I do not care for, you know, a lot of these plastic screws, plastic to plastic, they're Phillips, they're Phillips head. And I don't care for that. I'd rather see them be hex. So I'm not sure why they decide to use Phillips on there, but... Not a big deal, but secondly, um, this is a perfect example. This uh, engine mount, uh, these screws for the clutch uh, bell uh, assembly, these don't have any Loctite on them. The screws that hold this down didn't have any Loctite on them. Maybe that was on purpose because they knew you had to remove it, but... Um, I will be removing all metal to metal screws now and checking every single one for Loctite. So I have a feeling there is no Loctite on them. So one thing to keep in mind, um, you really need to check that. And here's a perfect example right here, a metal to metal screw that really needs to have Loctite on it. So uh, yeah, those are the only couple negatives that I have about it. They're not really negatives, they're just things I don't like. I don't wanna make it sound like it's a negative it really isn't um, other than that this vehicle is engineering on it just seems to be superb i mean i'm really really impressed with it so i'm going to go ahead and get started on some of these upgrades and um i will be back in another video and uh we'll see where i'm at so stay tuned for that be coming up soon uh the pipe i did decide to abandon the barracuda pipe and we're going to go with the I just think it's going to limit the Taylor 35 version 2 read. So I did decide to go with a Taylor pipe um, designed for the extended chassis. I mean, there's two versions of this RR5. I think it's in the older version. Uh, the chassis wasn't as long, and I don't think you can use the Taylor pipe on that. So we'll see how it fits up. But um, you need to have the extended version of the chassis to use the Taylor pipe. So that's off to the ceramic coater. Um, so that will be back soon. All right. Well, that's just a quick update of what's going on with the build here. MCD wifey build. So, um, all right. I'm going to get out of here. Al 2 316. I'll see everybody on the next video. So long.